What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be taking you to a prismatic Titan build that utilizes the inmost light as well as the Capri Horn perks. So we are using ability spams while our shields on top of just protecting us are going to throw out that nice solar blast doing damage on enemies and also just creating havoc since we are going to be able to spam it consistently because we got inmost light on top of it where we get empowering abilities gaining energy from using the other two it is just a match made in heaven so like i said this is our two perks right here on our stoshio shijam we got the spirit of inmost light using abilities empowers the other two abilities granting them improved ability regeneration so when we use our grenade melee we're gonna get a nice chunk of the other one back using our ability same thing throwing down our shield gonna empower the other two etc so absolutely crazy perk one of the best exotics in the game when it stands alone so he's even better on side of these class items second option is that spirit of the horn we got your barricades unleash that solar blast that scorches those targets so it'll play perfectly into this build solar explosion solar fumation with that facet of ruin plus the ability spam we're throwing down shields like it's our business Business, handing it out like candy so these solar explosions are gonna be going on everywhere plus we got consecration so just a match literally made in heaven so like I said, for our abilities, we got going on right here. Hammer of Soul, easily the worst part about this build, but it is made up for sure because of our class item and etc. So Towering Barricade, that's going to get that Kepri. Nice little Scorch show to go on. We're going to get Strafe Lift with the Frenzied Blade. Obviously, we got three of them to pair with Consecration, creating even more Scorch and Ignitions, allowing us to really empower the other two abilities since we're going to be able to use this three different times, empowering our Grenade and right here become even better so this is why we're going to be able to just absolutely spam our abilities with that pulse grenade as well then we're going to be getting diamond lance so when we get any of those defeats on targets with ability energy or just really any type of energy from our abilities we're going to be able to get those diamond lances freezing targets as well so little match made in heaven being able to stun some unstoppables with that as well plus we just got a lot going on stasis shards we're going to get jolt we're going to get ion traces we're gonna get ignitions we're gonna get fire sprites we're gonna get tangles it's just gonna be wild when we move on to fragments we got the facet of courage right here arc solar void abilities deal increased damage to targets affected by darkness debuffs so we're gonna be able to get this with that stasis lance as well as our melees that we're gonna be getting as well as our kinetic weapon because of facet of solitude right here landing those precision hits emits a severing blast from the target transcender severs a bigger blast so this can be done with with really any weapon but we're going to be using outbreak perfected so we're going to get that severing which will help us to proc facet of courage we got facet of awakening as well so rapidly defeating targets with light or darkness or our super generate those elemental pickups of the matching type so lots of fire sprites being spread around as well as some tangles now right here is bringing this build all around with facet of protection to help us stay alive with that reduced incoming damage facet of ruin to have increased shatter on those stasis crystals that we're going to be throwing around with the diamond lance and those frozen targets as well as our solar ignitions from the consecration as well as scorch going on because of our barrier and then last we're going to get facet of a dominance so we're going to get the art grenade to jolt just creating a bunch of different things going on with this build a bunch of different debuffs as well so this can be really used like i said in any type of content we got a bunch of different things going on from freezing to ignitions to jolt jolting to severing it is just a match made in heaven like i talked about and people think prismatic titan isn't that great but i really do think it is easily one of the best now for stats that we're going with as well as mods we got on our armor we got resilience discipline and strength obviously those three are giving us our melee our grenade as well as our class ability so really pairing in to that heart of inmost light right there and ability empowering to get the others back really fast definitely crazy having these at a hundred plus we 
get to stay alive with resilience. As for our mods, special ammo finder right here for our weapons with kinetic siphon as well as harmonic, you will see why in a second. Heavy handed right here to give us more orbs of power on those consecrations, impact induction with momentum transfer just giving us a better internal feedback loop than we already have because of the feedbacks that we have with our 100 stats as well as the stoicism. We're going to have melee resistance as well as double void resistance, totally up to you depending on the activity you are going into. You can switch these out for really anything you so choose. Now when we move on to our boost, we're going to be using that solar weapon surge double so we can get that 14% with recuperation. I think this is actually 17, not 14. Recuperation when we pick up those orbs of power going to give us a nice little boost in our health with time dilation. Reaper bomber helps us to get back our grenade, create even more orbs of power as well as have time dilation. So this will be a lasting even longer at that 17% damage increase. Now when we move on to our weapons, we're going to be using the Outbreak Perfected. This thing is absolutely disgusting. With Rewind Rounds, we're going to be able to stun those barrier champions with this as well and create those nice big separate bursts. A Rewind Action right here for those unstoppable champions because of that sidearm action that we got. Strategist Incandescent. Strategist is disgusting with this build because Strategist on all of those defeats are allowing us to get back our class ability. So on top of that, we are getting even more barriers to throw at an enemies creating even more chaos and more scorch with the avalanche as well subsistence incandescent on this bad boy creating even more scorch to be spread this has that incandescent for scorch so you can see how the craziness of this build just keeps on going with scorch with our ability spam etc last but certainly not least we got our hunter's journal right here anti-barrier pulse unstoppable sidearm for our weapons radiolaria transposer with that logic reducer so we got a nice little damage increase against Vex with that sidearm overcharged as well with that sidearm if it is the modifier elemental siphon creating even more of those elemental pickups so depending on what we are using we're going to be creating mostly strand because of that sever action or we're going to be creating solar ones as well because of our super as well as our weapons press the advantage right here creating even more stability handling and reload speed for us to just have that more damage down lane if you will counter energy stunning our champions gives us some ability energy so it helps us to spam even more even though we're going to be spamming almost instantly with this build anyways becoming a radiant with those orbs of power that we're going to be picking up our solar ignitions are going to be even greater because of this solar fumation with that facet of ruin paired together so our consecration with our grenade with our weapon with our capri horn titan shields is going to be absolutely disgusting to get all of those to proc and then like most of my builds besides Besides the void ones with expanding abyss we're gonna have shield crush to get back our abilities even faster than we already have them as well as transference so they can do more damage when we are in that transcendent final blows etc so a nice little crazy build that we got going on here gets through any type of content the worst part about this build is the super in my personal opinion hammer of soul inside of the prismatic even inside of solar 3.0 isn't the best super and we do got better ones for sure like either our thunder crash our strand super or even our new twilight arsenal super so we got a lot different going on but i really like how this build is set up pairs very well with the weapons that we got solar ignitions literally everywhere ability spam literally everywhere we're getting jolt we're getting ignitions we're getting sever and we're also freezing targets getting stasis shards to spawn so absolutely crazy build that can be really taken anywhere i know a lot of builds are pretty Prismatic Solar 3.0 seems to be a little obsolete since Prismatic came out, but try to be switching it up a little bit between these class item builds and just builds with normal exotics. But the class items, when you get that right combination, absolutely disgusting. So appreciate that support again. Means a lot to me, means a lot to the channel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content that we have been putting out, looking to switch up games. Hopefully you guys got some options if you are looking to stay with the channel. If you're looking to play some Star Wars games, maybe taking it to some other things that i have been playing on the side paper mario just turning into a variety channel because i do have adhd and i love variety so hopefully you guys enjoy don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't helps me out helps the channel out you guys won't miss out on any of the content if you hit that bell as well so really really appreciate you guys i will catch you guys in the next one as always peace